Digicon 2030 uh, aims to accelerate the Sri Lanka's economy uh, towards a digital economy by leveraging technology-based solutions. At this juncture, education or skill development is very important. So under digital economic policy, there are six thematic pillars. So one is education, skill development. So that is very important and we have uh, identified that we have to change the education uh, curriculum. We have working with the education ministry also. The State Minister for Technology Kuneka Hayrath highlighted the pressing need to equip high school graduates with the necessary skills to bridge the workforce gap in the information technology sector in Sri Lanka. Every year, there are approximately 20,000 job opportunities within the IT sector, yet a deficit of adequately trained professionals persists. He further emphasized that while about 10,000 IT graduates emerge from both public and private universities each year, additional efforts are required to equip young individuals who have completed their A-levels with the skills necessary to meet the remaining labor force requirement. These remarks were made during his participation in a press conference at the Presidential Media Center on the subject of the International Education Forum 2023, organized by the Education Division of the Federation of Information Technology Industry Sri Lanka. This forum is scheduled to take place at the Bandaranaika Memorial International Conference Hall in Colombo on November 3rd, in conjunction with the Infotel ICT exhibition. Digicon 2030 uh, aims to accelerate the Sri Lanka's economy uh, towards uh, an uh, inclusive digital economy by leveraging technology-based solutions. So we, we started this on the 11th of October by ceremonially handing over the digital economic uh, strategy to His Excellency the President and uh, under Digicon we have organized 23 plus uh, events including exhibitions, symposiums and uh, workshops and also award ceremonies. So this is uh, education forum is one of them and uh, now uh, when you talk about the education Right, this at this juncture, education or skill development is very important. So, under digital economic policy, there are six thematic pillars. So, one is education, skill development. So, that is very important, and we have uh, identified that. So, this is uh, actually uh, the education uh, we have to change the education uh, curriculum we have working with the education ministry also so it's a must i think in all forms of the education from starting from school education to vocational and higher education we have to i mean we have to look into the job demand and uh, according to that we have to change the uh, education curriculum we are working on that and we have also uh, with the support of uh, icta uh, we, with collaboration with the education ministry, we have, uh, we are looking at a digital education policy also. And uh, so, this kind of uh, forum is very important right now. So, as the apex body, uh, FITIS has taken a, a lead role on uh, this digital economy plan. So, the idea was originally born from FITIS itself. Uh, some of the board members are who are uh, seated here will know. About uh, one year ago, we initiated this process of driving the digital economy and uh, we clearly set a goal of $15 billion to be reached by 2030. Uh, now all of us knows we are at about uh, $3.7 billion uh, in estimated, which is about one year ago. Uh, that's about uh, less than 4% uh, of a, as a percentage from a digital economy point of view contribution to the national economy. But the uh, challenge we have when you look at the global benchmark, the mature markets are at about 40% uh, on the digital economy uh, contribution to the national economy and the global average is 20%. So we are far behind uh, on uh, global scale. 
so that's a challenge we identified and also go as a nation we are going through this economic crisis uh, we felt who are in the IT industry this is the only way and the fastest way of recovering this from this economic crisis when you're looking at our neighbors India Bangladesh or Pakistan or you go a little further uh, Indonesia to Malaysia to Singapore everybody has very robust digital economy plan uh, now in in and we proudly we can say as it is we actually initiated it with push the government we got rest of the stakeholders into the equation and we managed to drive this uh, now we are playing a leading role like right? we can push it and get the strategy in place but it's very important we play our role to get us get this successful uh, now uh, as minister said we have six thematic areas uh, one is skills and jobs this is what we are talking about today uh, we have the connectivity part we have the security part uh, we have the industry digitization and sme uh, we have the digital government all the six thematic areas are covered so under the digital skills and jobs uh, that's what you're talking today, which is the education forum, which is going to happen on third parallel to the Infotel uh, exhibition happening on third, fourth, fifth. Uh, here we are looking at uh, when you create in that uh, digital economy, we need the skilled workforce. Uh, unless we have the skilled workforce, we'll be not able to fulfill that. One thing is as IT industry, we need 20,000 people annum. We have about 10,000 people annum uh, produced by the state and non-state put together, as Minister also said. Uh, but the other challenge is all the industries need IT skills people because it's about technology being adapted. It can be agriculture, it can be manufacturing, it can be tourism uh, or your teacher, anybody, you need digital uh, familiarity. And this process has to be get digitized. Uh, that's how the contribution to the digital economy will uh, get boosted and it will finally contribute to the national economy. That's the roadmap which is we are going in. If you look at a country like New Zealand, they're talking about the exports of $8 billion on digital. Are they exporting software sector? No. They are used technology for dairy and uh, agriculture. That's how the boosting has come in. The supply chain to uh, the storage to shipping to everything technology is being used. Now, that's a transformation we are leading. So the baseline, which is we need to make sure that the skill force is being, workforce is created. That's why we are working with the Ministry of Education. Uh, and also, which is as coming from the professionals of the uh, IT, as well as most of the people who are here seated here from the non-state uh, universities who will basically become the biggest contributor. Why I'm saying that uh, government produces from a number point of view, like, you know, say we have 350,000 kids coming into the school system every year. About 30,000, 20 to 30,000 drops from grade 8, 9 level with due to poverty, etc. And about another 100 to 120,000 drops from O levels. There's about roughly 150 to 175,000 goes to A level. But state universities can take only 35 to 40,000 max now, which is non-state takes about another 40,000 or so. So out of the 350,000 full, somebody gets grade 1, only 80,000 gets a higher education. And vocational sector, there's another maybe 20 to 30,000 goes in, but the challenge we have with the vocational sector, the skills what is getting acquired there is not acceptable in the industry. So these are the bigger challenge we have. Right now, which is to led by the president himself, there's education policies being made already. It has been approved at the highest level, now at the cabinet level, which is another two to three months that will come out. It will give you a complete tra transformation and overhaul how this future will be. Additionally, for more latest news, subscribe to FTTV.